Hi, I'm Kelly Cullis. This is Dirty Jim. We're going to show you how to use straps. There's a lot of videos going around about how to use straps and wraps and belts and tools of the trade. No one's really shown you exactly how it should be done. This is your typical strap that you find in the U.S. sold by uh, Elite Fitness or Spud Inc., Westside Barbell, APT Pro Straps. Uh, with these straps, well, let's just call them loop straps because they have a loop already sewn into them. The most important thing here is to feed the loop the right way and also wear the strap the right way. So with these, the easiest way to uh, know that you're wearing them the right way is you want the strap itself going through the hand like this. Okay. Now the common mistake that people make is they feed both straps the same way and what you end up having is this. Now take a second and look at that and try to think. See that you can understand how this is going to wrap around the bar and then I can grab it. This is going the complete opposite direction of my grip and there's really no logical way that'll work all that well. You can try to move it and kind of do it like this and that may work but you're better off just to wear them the way they were intended. So if you come over here I'll show you how to wrap the bar as well. So, if you're setting up for a snatch with straps, your best bet is to have your footing and take both straps loosely around the center of the bar and gently slide out. You can tighten up one or both at a time, depending on your own preference. And then you're ready. Now, the other set of straps that are becoming popular now, especially with uh, weightlifting resurgence in the U.S., is the classical weightlifting no loop strap and these are not a favorite of mine but they do have their purpose as you can see there's clearly a difference in the pressure there's no pressure on the wrist with these kind of straps Com compare that with this to where all the pressure is actually on the wrist so when you wrap Using this type of strap almost makes it impossible to use straps for cleans or power cleans or any, any movement where there's turnover to, to the rack. Compare that to this and you can easily see how now you can safely do cleans with straps. In uh, 2006 I actually broke my arm doing cleans with straps like this. So now I'll show you how to wrap on the bar with a classic strap. And it's, it's actually just the same. But this strap is going to allow you three different ways to wrap depending on your preference. One is you can wrap like a normal strap by just going over the bar and grabbing and twisting to your own, your own preference and tightness. The second is to go through the strap itself, which can make releasing the bar a little more difficult. But this seems to be the preferred method for people with dirty hands and their hands especially. And then the third is just to go outside like this. And that, what that really does is it kind of allows you to take your three strongest fingers during the hook grip and maintain that. So if you're someone who likes to maintain your hook grip while also using straps, this third method is going to be your favorite because it's also going to give you a little bit of extra strength and strength. And this strap actually is a um, improvement of what used to be just one long piece like this that they would fold together to make this kind of like goofy horseshoe shape. And what that looked like was just this. And then they would grab that and roll it up. So there you go. There's, there's your third strap. If you ever just have a broken one and you need a little bit of fix, put it together end over end, make that classic strap style, grab it, and you're ready to roll. Kelly Cutlip, Dirty Jim, Strap Moves.